Hi, I'm Chuck, and today we're at uh, Rally on the Rocks 2018. We've been out crawling now for about a week. I'm sunburned, I'm, I'm roasted, I'm ready for more. And I've decided to upgrade the tires on our RBO 1000. I've been all over the show, and as luck would have it, I bumped into Steve with uh, Tenzer Tire and Method Wheels, and I was looking at his car here, and really thought he might be a, somebody that I could rely on to help me with tires. So Steve, what tire do I want? Well, you know, we've talked about a lot of things um, in the direction you guys are gonna go in. You know, we have this nice Tenzer tire, which is our regulator. We like to do a that, which is a real close pattern to this. This is an all-terrain. But where you guys are going, being in the desert, where you're at, we looked at we do something a little bit more aggressive. So it looks like I think a good fit for you would be the Tensor DS with okay. the new Method 401R race wheel. It's going to stand it up a little bit better. It's going to give you some really good traction and extreme durability with its 1,600-pound load rating. Is this DOT approved? This one is not DOT approved, not highway ready. The regulator is. Okay. Um, after talking to a couple of you guys a little bit more about where it's going to go, I, I think the DS would be a better fit for you for sure. And a little bit earlier, uh, Steve was telling me that this tire and wheel play second at King of the Hammers this year. That's right. Our, yeah, our race uh, racer Brandon Sims and our UTV took second place this year. King of the Hammers with this. There was Eric Miller, a few of the other guys out there running this product. Did really well out of King of the Hammers. Great desert tire. It does really good in the rocks. We had our method car out this week out there at the rocks doing uh, poison spider, bent nail, and things of that nature. Great traction, superior traction. It's a nice soft compound for getting into the rocks and sticking to it and giving you the opportunity to climb stuff. Sounds great. So we're going to go ahead and go with these. One of the problems we faced here is nobody's installing tires here at the show. And you know, Steve said he'd volunteer to help me mount these tires up, so I'm gonna go see if I can find a vendor here, buy a set of tires. Awesome. We'll get them brought back here, and then we'll show you how to mount them up on a set of beadlocks. Sounds good, let's get to it. All right, well, I was able to get hooked up with uh, Adam from Discount Tire, <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I carried the lug nuts and he brought the rest over. I just wanna say thanks to Discount Tire. You guys did a great job of helping us out here at the show. No problem, thank you guys for the opportunity, and I hope you enjoy the product. All right, take care, awesome. see you again. Well, as I mentioned earlier, we made a decision to put the Tenzer tires on our 2018 RBO build. Uh, hopefully everybody, if you come to uh, Rally in the Pines and Salmon this year, you're gonna see this machine out uh, as we've got everything completed on it. So now Steve's gonna, I mean, I can't tell you how thankful I am that you volunteered to help me mount these tires up. I mean, I think it's just incredible. And that kind of helps validate that we chose the right tire company. You know, absolutely, I'm glad to do it. Um, it'll give you an idea of how the tires look when you're out there using it. You'll know what to look for and see all the potentials. Well, let's do this thing. Awesome. All right, well, we'll start off here with our 401 15 inch R wheel. In here, you'll see right on here in the box, it's a mount tire on the wheel, make sure it fits. We've already done that, so we're good to go there. Pull out our ring, want to hang on to that bad boy. Start here with our wheel, build her off, put her flat down here on the ground, nice surface. And this is a full race wheel, right? This is our full race wheel, it's got a 4.9 inch backspace set up to create less bumps here on the vehicles while you're out there driving so when you're racing you can focus on the track and not your hands vibrating around. All we're trying to do is get a little bit of lubricant in here to help that tire slide over that wheel. It's pretty easy to do. It's kind of a grassroots operation here. We don't have a tire machine and we're not in this, you know, the perfect environment, so. We're actually right in the middle of the show floor here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make this work. All right, pick this up, locate it on the bucket. Make sure that our tire is centered on the bead on the inside here. Get a little spin, never hurts. You guys like that when logos lined up? Good opportunity to right there. Oh, so line them up here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get our hardware kit. Start off here, you can put the washers in there while I set the valves down. Put a little bit of Loctite on that bad boy. Run that in by hand. So it starts to get snug. Once she gets snug, give her about a good half a turn until it starts to firm up. You don't want to give it too much. If you do that, it's too easy to strip out because we're going with a steel valve stem on the aluminum, so once it's in there snug, that's gonna seal it here. Put that on there, and the next thing is make sure we got those 
end up as close as you want. What I'll do is I've got come over here and I'm just gonna take like a bolt like this and then touch the tip of it like that, bring it over here and start it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll use this gun, we'll start here and we'll get snug them down like that. And then now we're gonna take the rest of them and put anti seize on. Set up in here. I don't recommend doing this at home with a squirt gun, but I do these all the time. So all I'm going to do is take these down to the snug, going in crisscross pattern. Probably normally about 15 inch pounds or so. Yeah, these are going to be 15 with the uh, anti seize on them. And what we'll do is just get these started like we have here. So now that we have that dialed in, set our torque wrench to 15 foot pounds. Right there, lock it in. done it. Uh, Steve, I can't thank you enough. We got four tires mounted plus a spare on our RBO tire rack. I'm going to get these mounted on our machine, head to Hell's Revenge in the morning. I just can't thank you enough. Well, I appreciate the opportunity very much. Great to be out there and thank you for allowing us to be on your product with Method Race Wheel and Tender Tire. Yeah, maybe we'll see you at the King of the Hammers. Awesome. We'll see All you right. there.